YouTube has announced support for 60fps videos. On the left hand side of the screen is 60fps, and on the right, 30. Since this video was uploaded before the full rollout, early viewers might not be able to see the difference. I'm hoping that once the update comes out, videos such as these will be updated. I've been uploading a lot of my videos in 60fps for months, so they should hopefully have a quality boost in the near future. So what difference does 60fps make? It depends on the content. High contrast clips, such as this black and white desktop, are the most obvious. In fact, 120fps makes this sort of scene even smoother, and I can't even stand 60hz anymore for desktop work. Aren't I picky? Next down the list are video games. I've tried to pick some examples that show it best, like when the view is panning, or when there's something that's meant to be smoothly swinging about on the screen. It seems as though 60fps has become the standard for most PlayStation 4 and Xbox One games, so this YouTube update makes total sense. And finally, video camera clips. This is a very tricky subject, since most European cameras film at 50hz, making conversion to 60fps very juddery and messy. I first became aware of how bad this problem was when uploading my Lake District juggling video. You'll notice that if you pause it, it's as though there are double the number of balls. These sort of artefacts are common when it tries to squish 25 or 50 FPS into the internet standard of 30, particularly if you use interlacing. Mathematically, it just doesn't work. Americans luckily film in 60 already, meaning that their content easily slots into YouTube's 30 and 60 FPS. Sorry, this video is getting more and more complicated. It was just meant to congratulate YouTube for the jump. My new camera happens to film in 60, but I personally can't see any difference between 30 and 60 thanks to the amount of blur between the frames. Higher quality cameras should show the difference more obviously, as will movies. I'm hoping that this will encourage a large shift towards support for higher FPS in all kinds of media. The Hobbit has been criticised for using high speed cameras because it makes it look like a sitcom for filming in 48 rather than 24 FPS. Don't even get me started on this topic, it seems ridiculous that we should stick to 24 or 30 frames a second just for the sake of looking like a movie, when it could instead be recorded at 48 and then reduced for those who prefer a blurrier, juddier mess. It's a lot easier than conversion from 24 to 48, that's for sure. Higher FPS is always better in my opinion, and if you want to replay one of the clips in slow motion, half speed will still look nice and smooth. Well done to YouTube for taking this leap. I'm hoping that European video cameras, and movies in general, will catch on and make 60fps the new norm. Fuck off.